and welcome to a video on GoodNotes exporting. Once you have annotated your document or notes, it's now time to export them as a PDF to the cloud. You're going to have three options for exporting. Basically, you'll have the option to export the entire notebook, one page of the notebook, or select pages of your notebook. You can also have other options that I will go through um, in just a second. So I will open up my GoodNotes app and I'll just go to my MAT 187 folder. So once you're in the folder of a class, and as you can see I have annotated some notes here in my um, MAT 187 folder in this chapter 4 notebook, then you can export the whole notebook from here. So I will click edit on the top right, and then click the notebook you wish to export and select export. So since I'd like to export this whole first one, I will select it. You will notice the green check on the bottom right and click export on the top left. Here you can select um, where you would like to export it to or the cloud that you wish to use. So for example, I will use Dropbox. And then you see the options appear. Here you can select PDF or notes. But as you can see, it says it is only used by GoodNotes, so I don't use the Notes option. I just stay with the PDF format. The next option is PDF Export Options. Backgrounds are what you imported in. So in my example, it would have been the type document that I started with. The annotations are what you wrote or imported into that document. I want them both to show up, so they are both defaulted to on. You can change the file name here if you wish, so perhaps I will change it. So I'm going to click on File Name, and then I'll just change this to Video, so I know later, so I know what it is. OK, and then click OK when you're ready to export. And then it asks you where do you want to export it to. I'm just going to put it in my Dropbox, but you could select any folder. For example, I could put it in my iPad training folder and upload it there. And it exports it there. Okay, if I am in this notebook and I'm on a page that I would like to export, then you can click the More, which is the three buttons in the top right corner. Then click Export or Print. And when you click Export or Print, you'll see two exporting options provided. You can export the current page that you are on or all the pages like we did in the first option that I provided. So for example, I could just do the current page to Dropbox. Now you'll notice all these export options are the same. So I'll change it to video two, and I'll click OK. And again, it asks you where in your Dropbox. So I'll do it in the iPad training. And there it goes. Now, the last option is if you would like to do multiple pages. So for example, page one and this current page that I'm on, I can still do that. So click on the contents or the grid, which is at the top left. Your notebook should appear in the box and select edit in the top right corner. Now you can select the pages that you want to export. So I will select page one and page six, because um, those are the two that have the writing on it. You'll notice I've selected them because in the bottom right corner they have a green check. Click export once the pages you wish to export have that green check. And then you'll notice that all the same options appear. Where do you want to export? To Dropbox. And then I will call this one video three. Click OK. Click OK. It asks me where in my Dropbox. I'll do the iPad training. And voila, I have exported. So I hope this helps you export your annotated documents. Um, once they're in my Dropbox account, I then usually download them to either Canvas, WebAssign, or MathAS, whatever I'm using. That way students will have access to them. Thank you. Thank you.